Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am going to discuss about configuring VLANs, a step-by-step -step guide for the network admin. First of all, create one simple topology with one switch and four pieces. Here, all four pieces are connected with the switch. So, this topology is also called as one simple local area network. Now, assign the IP address to the all pieces as per given label. So, let's start with the PC0. In this scenario, all the PCs are connected in single lane. It means all the PCs are communicate with each other. Let's check with the ping command. So I will ping from PC0 to PC2 and PC3. So I am getting the response from PC2 and PC3. Let's check from PC3 to PC1 and PC2. So again I am getting the response from the both the PCs. So it means all the PCs are communicate with each other. So now what is the concept of VLAN? VLAN stands for Virtual Local Area Network. Let's understand the concept of VLAN with one example. For example PC0 and PC1 are my office PC and PC2 and PC3 are my home PC. In this scenario my office PC and home PCs are connected with the single switch. So I can say all the PCs are connected with the common local area network. So as I have demonstrated earlier, if all the PCs in a single common LAN, they can communicate with each other. So it means I can access my home PC from the office PC as well as I can access my office PC from the home PC. But as per the concept of VLAN, different VLAN PCs cannot communicate with each other. So as per my requirement, I cannot access my home PC from the office PC and I cannot access my office PC from the home PC. So I am creating two different LAN, one for the home PC and one for the office PC. As shown in this scenario, VLAN 2 is created for the office PC and VLAN 3 is created for the home PCs. But there is one question in my mind, why it is not VLAN 1? Because VLAN 1 is the default VLAN in switch. Now you can check here. In port column, the last row is VLAN 1. So let's configure the VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 in switch. Now click on the switch and go to the CLI. Now using the enable command, 
you can enter into the privilege execution mode. To create a VLAN, I have to enter into the configuration mode. So now I can create VLAN. So VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 are created. Next task is VLAN configure with the interface. Now you can check PC0 is connected with the switch using fast ethernet 01. PC1 is connected with the switch using fast ethernet 02. Same way PC2 and PC3 are connected with the switch using fast ethernet 03 and fast ethernet 04. Now configure all this fast ethernet with VLAN. All the interfaces are configured with the VLAN. Now check the VLAN configuration using the ping command. Now you can check, I can access PC1 from the PC0, but I cannot access PC2 and PC3 from the PC0, because PC2 and PC3 are located in the different VLAN. Same way, I will check from the PC3. Now you can check, I can access PC2 from PC3, but I cannot access PC0 and PC1 from the PC3, because PC0 and PC1 are located in the different VLAN. Thank you for watching this video, hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel Chirag Balodia.